thrivevalues.org.nz is here to help. We make it easy to equip your kids to tackle life's challenges head on. Visit thrivevalues.org.nz and start empowering the young minds in your life today. Get a Koto Kato, Banksy's real name, cat pictures for fines, and a WBO champion. Stay tuned to hear more. This week's pizza feast goes to C Pakeke at Wood End School. Congrats, team! Great answer. The pizza feast will be coming your way. And if you want to get in on the free pizza, check this out. Pizza feast! Hey kids, if you want to win a pizza feast for your class, listen out for the secret question and then comment your answer on Info Jam at KiwiKidsNews.co.nz. Feast out! <laughs> And in New Zealand news this week, a New Zealand-bound plane suddenly dropped altitude on a recent flight from Sydney. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner unexpectedly dropped around 100 metres in altitude. This scary event led to about 50 people needing medical attention after being tossed around inside the cabin. Despite the chaos, the flight eventually continued smoothly. Aviation experts have been trying to figure out what caused this frightening experience. That is really scary. That is like super out of it. Yeah, I mean a job. Yeah, I mean I've never been in a plane, so I don't really know what that's like. But I've heard that even just you know the slight shaking can be quite frightening as Pretty well. Pretty scary stuff. Yeah. In world news, famous artist Banksy may have to reveal his full name due to a court order. Two art collectors, Nikki Katz and Ray Howes, who purchased the picture Monkey Queen, are not sure if it is a real Banksy artwork. They've been trying for three years to get an official yes, it's genuine from Banksy's company called Pest Control. However, they haven't had an answer, so Nikki and Ray have decided to take Pest Control to court. It's a tricky situation because Banky's secret identity is part of what makes his art so special. Mm. But Nikki and Ray just want to know if their artwork is the real deal. Fair enough, eh? Yeah, Fair enough. I think that makes a lot of sense. you got to know. Yeah, you got to see both sides of the story, yeah. hey? From the Odd Stuff file, a library in Massachusetts is accepting cat pictures for fines. The Worcester Public Library has introduced felines for fee forgiveness as part of their March Meowness celebration, a cat-themed month full of activities and events. If someone has lost or damaged a book, they can bring in a picture of a cat, and in exchange, the library will forgive their fees and react activate their library card. That's pretty creative. Yeah. The program started with the aim to welcome back community members who might have been staying away from the library because of overdue fees or lost books. That's really, really cool. I actually love that. That's totally me. I'd get lost in the library. I mean, I'd, I'd take <laughs> yeah. I don't steal books. I would bring pe- cats of my, uh, pictures of my cats to the library if I could. In sports, Joseph Parker has claimed the WBO heavyweight title. In an intense boxing match, Parker showcased his skill with a majority decision victory over China's heavyweight Zhile Zhang. Zhang managed to floor Parker with a sharp left, marking the first of two 10 to 8 rounds in Zhang's favor. But Parker turned the tide by landing significant shots and managing Zhang's offense output. The win is Parker's third in just 20 weeks. And here's the secret question. How can you show, oh, how can showing kindness change a negative culture? Comment on the Info Jam at Kiwi Kids News with your answer and class for your chance to win. Awesome, guys. Well, that wraps us up for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure to have a look at kiwikidsnews.co.nz. And make sure you check out Info Jam Pop for all your pop culture content, value of the week, and more. Have an awesome week, team. Kakiti See you guys next time.